Good morning. Welcome to Lake City Auto Care. Today we have a 2005 Nissan Frontier that has a transmission issue. Common to the 2004 through 2009 Xterra's Frontiers and Pathfinders are defective radiators that cause the transmission to go out. What happens is, is antifreeze from the engine gets back into the transmission and causes electrical problems, causing the transmission to ultimately fail. Today we're going to check this transmission to see if it has antifreeze contamination in the transmission fluid. Right now Joe is putting the truck on the rack and bringing the truck in the air to do a fluid sample test. What we're going to do is just take a cup full of transmission fluid and boil it and if there's water present in the transmission fluid, it'll naturally boil. If it doesn't boil, that means it's just pure transmission fluid and we've got a different problem. So we're going to get the car in the air, get a fluid sample, and then we'll come back and let you know what the results are of that test. So now we're underneath the truck and Joe is pulling the drain plug on the transmission pan to get a fluid sample. It doesn't take much, Joe's just getting a small bearing cup full of transmission fluid. Of course, Joe must have the wrong thing because he's going across the shop to get it. Here he comes. He's back with the drain pan. Catch any overflow. Again, it won't take much transmission fluid to tell us if there's any water present in there. Um, Joe, you have the cup? Nothing more than this. So we'll fill this up and take it over to the bench and heat it up, just like in chemistry class, and check it for water in the transmission fluid. Sometimes we can tell right away, just by the color of the fluid, whether or not there's antifreeze already in the transmission. Let's see what it looks like. Not looking too good, but we're gonna we're gonna boil it anyway and see what we get. So when we do, we'll come back and let you know. So here we are on the teardown bench, and we've got our inducting the inductive heat system. And Joe is going to heat up the transmission fluid now. And again, if it boils, we know that there's antifreeze or water in it. If it just creates a lot of smoke, then it's just pure transmission fluid. So this doesn't take more than a few seconds to do. Well, it looks like it actually did pass the test. I was wrong. It uh, is not boiling, it's just smoking. So that is that is pure transmission fluid, at least on the onset, unless somebody has serviced it to try to fix the problem, which we'll have to just do some more uh, diagnostics to find out what's going on inside the transmission that's causing the problem the customer's concerned with. And we will continue the video then. For demonstration purposes today, we've added water to the cup, what which, which would be simulate having water getting back into the transmission. So now Joe's gonna use the inductor again and show you how the transmission fluid will boil with the presence of water. And you can see it doesn't take very long to do that. Fortunately for this customer, what we'll recommend because of the mileage on the vehicle is not only a transmission service, but we can actually save this customer depending on who they would go to for a rebuild between $4,500 and $6,000 by recommending a transmission bypass uh, to go to the auxiliary cooler that this vehicle is equipped with in the factory. It's about $180 repair and will prevent the customer from ever having any serious transmission issues by bypassing the defective radiators that came in these vehicles from the factory. And that's it. Again, the main problems on these Nissans uh, wasn't so much the transmission itself, it was the radiators that were defective from the factory. The company in question is called CalSonic, and if you ever have any question about it, on your 2004 uh, Pathfinder, th 2004 through 2009 Pathfinders, Frontiers, and Xterras, if your transmission or your radiator says CalSonic on it, those were the defective radiators from Nissan. Um, oftentimes people try to replace them. But once the uh, antifreeze gets into the transmission, the damage is done. There's not much you can do other than overhaul the transmission at that point. The fix I was talking about earlier involves this transmission cooler up here. 
what we do is, is on this vehicle, we'll recommend that we bypass the radiator altogether and just cycle the transmission fluid through this auxiliary towing cooler that these co trucks come with equipped from the factory. And then that prevents the transmission and the transmission fluid and the antifreeze from ever contaminating one another, causing either uh, transmission fluid to get into your cooling system or even worse, like I said, cooling or your antifreeze getting into your transmission, thereby causing the need to have your transmission overhauled. So we have answers for both problems, whether you need a rebuild or substantially less than the Nissan dealer, or as a preventative measure, we can bypass your radiator and, and make sure that your transmission won't have any future problems related to the cross leak. And with that, I hope you learned something today. And if you have any questions, just call Lake City Auto Care and we'd be glad to help you guys out. Thanks.